What's going on, Android lovers? This is Clayton Youngberg coming at you from AndroidAuthority.com, your number one source for all things Android. Today I'm just going to be showing you a quick uh, demo of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the GSM version, and its OTA update to uh, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. As you see here, we do have our um, GSM Galaxy Nexus. I'm just going to be going ahead and using the uh, software update feature on the phone to update it to Android 4.1. So anyways, um, you can access that just by going into the settings. Go ahead and hit your settings slider and you can scroll down uh, to the about phone. That's where you can find the system updates option. You can see here we have our Android 4.1 system update already. Um, it says right here we're going to update to Jelly Bean to improve uh, performance, responsiveness, system wide, um, all that great stuff. It is already downloaded, as you see right here, downloaded and verified. It's uh, 147 megs is all. So it's uh, fairly small, pretty cool. So we're just gonna click restart and install. It says right here it's rebooting uh, to install in uh, countdown. It's at four seconds right now. And we'll just let this go for now. And what it's actually gonna do is it'll reboot into its own recovery. Um, it'll actually flash the new firmware and then you'll have Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Now uh, a lot of people have been asking me how to do this and it's just as simple as that guys. Now when you get your GSM Galaxy Nexus right out of the box, um, I'm pretty sure you'll be prompted with the software update almost immediately and if you're not you can just follow through um, in the settings just like I did right there. Um, if for some reason you don't have that in your settings, I don't see why you wouldn't. You should be getting about hourly prompts to upgrade to 4.1 Jelly Bean. And as you can see here we have our little Andy. Uh, we've got our progress bar right there just letting us know what our progress is on the install of Jelly Bean. Now we'll just talk about some of the features of Jelly Bean. It's a really cool operating system. We're running at 60 frames per second most of the time with Jelly Bean. So we have seamless transitions with the project butter and stuff like that. Uh, we also have our 60 hertz refresh rate which perfectly matches the refresh rate on the screen of the uh, Galaxy Nexus. Um, our Galaxy Nexus does have a 4.6 inch Super AMOLED display so the Jelly Bean colors just really pop on there. Uh, triple buffering so the Galaxy Nexus and Jelly Bean knows basically where you're going to press whenever you're pressing it so it can already start to buffer the next uh, frame and everything like that. It will bring you the fastest performance possible. Uh, we also have our smart app updates so we can uh, update our apps just with the uh, portion of space we need. So if we have a 13 meg app, um, we're not going to need to download 13 megs uh, to update the app. We can only uh, download about 1 meg just to actually get the uh, update. Anyways, when uh, Jelly Bean boots, when we boot into our Jelly Bean, we'll just need to log into our Google account. Um, we can sign in and get all of our same stuff that we had, um, and we'll be running Jelly Bean right off the bat. We've also got our Google Now integrated with Jelly Bean, which is a great service. We've got our enhanced Google Voice. Um, just great stuff with Android Jelly Bean. So we'll just wait for this to install. It takes about, I don't know, five minutes. As you see, our progress bar has already climbed quite a bit. So we're getting our initial boot into Jelly Bean right now, which is pretty cool. We have our new boot up animation, our little uh, Nexus colors, and the nice X just flashing. Um, this might take a little while, wouldn't worry about it. You're usually never going to encounter any problems when you're just flashing a uh, over-the-air update. I mean, it does it for you, so you can't really go wrong in any way. So you can see here we have our Android upgrading notification. We're optimizing all of our apps. I only have got 13 installed because this phone was basically out of the box. I had done a uh, new firmware flash of 4.0.4 .4 for a previous video, but this was running the 4.0.4 .4 ice cream sandwich that uh, the GSM Galaxy Nexus is going to be running out of the box for a little while. Um, so indeed we did update from ice cream sandwich to jelly bean. So starting all the apps and it's finishing up its optimization. Going to be able to check out the cool um, user interface of Jelly Bean here. Oh, we're just waiting. There we go. We have our new Jelly Bean. As you can see, we have our cool lock screen. Go up for Google Now. We got um, right to unlock. We can go left for the camera. Go ahead and go right. As you see here, um, we've got our folders and everything. Now it uh, retained the folder style and everything from what I had. I had named this Cinema. So that is still there. Got our cool analog clock. Um, our little Google search up here is no longer transparent. We'll try out a voice search really quick. AndroidAuthority.com 
Whoops. Uh, navigate to AndroidAuthority.com. So anyways, we're going to swipe through. Uh, got the basically uh, the same performance here. We do have some of the apps that we did um, originally. Google Wallet, it's working really well. Uh, we can add a widget to the home screen really quick. You can see that our uh, icons and other stuff do interact with our widgets now because of the Project Butter and the uh, Jelly Bean OS. We can resize our widgets as well. Now the uh, bookmarks was resizable on ICS, but a lot more widgets are resizable on the uh, Jelly Bean. Go ahead and check out our Google now. Hit our home button and swipe up. Going to need to um, enable our uh, location settings for Google now, but it is working fully, of course. This is our stock build. Anyways, we have our new notifications and everything too. Go ahead and go into our settings here. Um, about phone. 4.1 Jelly Bean. So congrats, guys. If you're just getting your uh, Galaxy Nexus and you want to upgrade her to Android 4.1 Jelly Bean if you got the GSM version. Um, if you got the CDMA versions, you can either hold tight till the carriers uh, update to Jelly Bean or you can uh, root and flash custom Jelly Bean ROMs, which are better in my opinion anyways. But if you do love the AOSP, go ahead and uh, you know stick it out with your carrier or if you got the GSM, just perform what I did right there, guys. Anyways, if you got any further questions or you need help with anything at all, don't hesitate to ask. This is Clayton with Android 40.